and pretty. That is the number three field carriage. Um, it's uh, all steel. Every, even the parts that look like they're supposed to be wood, the green parts, are actually supposed to be wood. They're not. They're steel. And a previous video I showed you kind of how it was put together. It was originally uh, supposed to be a number one field carriage, but uh, uh, anyway, it ended up a number three field carriage, which is kind of cool. I, I, uh, you know, I've got a number one field carriage, and, and uh, a lot of difference in size. I mean, it's just a few inches here, or there, but the overall makes, I mean, makes that Whitworth cannon look pretty small. Uh, that's the Whitworth cannon that uh, uh, I got through Joe Girard and uh, it's uh, uh, the one that's in a previous video called a close look at a Civil War Whitworth cannon. I have not shot that gun on any videos. The ones that I'm shooting a Whitworth cannon is a different Whitworth cannon. Uh, you can see my prolongs too long but uh, I think twice before I cut a rope that nice. Anyway, also my uh, cleaning rod is too long too, but I haven't even put an end on it yet. I just finished this up last night and uh, it's definitely not the best paint job I ever did. Uh, <laughs> I ran out of paint literally at the last minute. I was going to paint it with this uh, really neat paint a friend of mine came up with, but it, it, it takes quite a while to dry, and uh, I have to paint outside, and uh, I was afraid that I'd end up with a bunch of leaves stuck in it. It looked like a camouflage job. Anyway, the uh, wheel hubs are made out of weld reducers and uh, 10 to 12 and then 12 back to 8 they're welded together that's how that's done I'm gonna have some uh, brass bearings in the wheels uh, there's some temporary bearings in there now that are making it roll but they're not very tight and uh, Sorry for the shakiness. I'd have YouTube fix it, but whenever they do, the quality of the video goes down real bad. I'll give you a walk up on the Whitworth here. I need to make new hand spikes. I've got several hand spikes for other cannons, but that needs to be longer and bigger for a number three. It is so heavy. My knees are aching from pushing this damn thing around. Those cannon people that know what rondelles are, they're the spacers that go between the cheeks. The cheek is this part right here, and the trail right here, the rondelles go right in between. And they're made so you can put different size cannons on a carriage. Uh, this one's supposed to have uh, three quarter inch, or excuse me, one inch uh, rondelles. And because it's designed for a 20 pound parrot and it's got this 12 pound Whitworth on it, uh, it only has quarter inch rondelles. Literally, they're just slightly thicker than a washer. And uh, I don't know if you can see them in there. Anyway, I've got no. I've got the front sight on the gun. Back sight is all made. I just didn't have it put on. I kind of keep uh, close tabs on those sights. They're pretty precision things. They. Uh, you can see my flash hider back here is uh, case colored. And uh, anyway, 
The first cannon I ever made, I got the barrel from San Diego. And so we called it Diego. This barrel came basically from the same place, but went through two or three other hands before it got to me. I ended up picking it up from San Francisco. So this cannon's name is going to be Cisco. My weld's a little bit better on the wheels, but that's uh, for a future day. I, I just ran out of time. I only had so much time budgeted on this cannon, and it went over as it as it was. So anyway, as you can see, they're kind of rough down there at the base. You know, on a wooden wheel, there wouldn't be a weld there at all. And uh, any oddball chain thing that they had I could not buy a chain like that everybody says oh yeah you can buy that all over I could not buy a chain like that um, so I, I forged those links which actually was a lot easier than I thought I bought a little Harbor Freight uh, bender made pretty short work out of it and then of course I forged all the hooks and everything the uh, there's the hasps and all that that ring back there is not actually supposed to be there the one center screen there but I'm always needing more places to tie things on a cannon so I put it there those are look at those skinny little rondelles they uh, I had to put in there to make the cannon work make this barrel work on that case. That's all I got to say today. Next time you see Cisco, it'll be shooting. I guess we're going to have a 4th of July cannon shoot. And it's, it'll have its maiden shoot out there. I'll probably proof it before then. However, I think this cannon was proofed quite a while ago. Um, the uh, I may actually proof it today. Although it's Sunday, I try not to make that much noise on a Sunday. Bye.